Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to Q2 and H1 FI24 earnings conference call of Accuracy Shipping Limited. This conference call may contain forward-looking statements about the company which are based on the beliefs, opinions and expectations of the company as on date of this call. These statements are not the guarantees of future performance of the company and it may involve risk and uncertainties that are difficult to predict. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen-only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during this conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Vinay Tripathi, Managing Director of Accuracy Shipping Limited. Thank you and over to you, sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and a very warm welcome to everyone to our Q2 and H1 FY24 earning call conference. Earning conference call. We have uploaded our updated investor presentations on the stock exchange and company's website, and I hope everyone had an opportunity to go to the same. Along with me on the call, I had Mr. Asif. Alwani, our CFO, and SD, our investor relationship advisor. I will talk about the economy first. The global economy continues to remain weak despite marginal recovery in the in the first half with high interest rates. The global demand and geographical tensions. India, on uh, on the other hand, continues. to remain a resilient and stand as on of the fastest growing economy in the world and is likely to the eager as the third largest economy in the world by 2027 the imf anticipates a growth of 6.3 in india gdp for the fiscal year financial year 2023 24 reflecting at 20 basis point increase from the july forecast our ongoing operational and is and anchored in the promising trajectory of india economic growth shifting our focus to the industry the global shipping sector has continued with an extended period of demand demand freight demand <clears throat> throughout the current year the first half of the year showed no sign of improvement in ocean freight rates coupled with the subsidized cargo volumes customer inventory labels persisted at elevated levels due to subsidized consumer demand a swift rebound in rates is not anticipated at this time Now, now let me provide you with an overview of Accuracy Shipping Limited, Incorporated in 2008. Our company has involved into end-to-end logistics solutions provider. The company has had a wide reach with 14 branch offices and 64 agency agreements across the globe. We are present across the volume chain from collections of goods from the seller's warehouse. to delivery of goods to the buyer warehouse accuracy is a trusted partner for both bundled as well as stand alone services our expertise spans clearing forwarding warehousing transportation and more all under one roof to provide our best services to our client accuracy started as a custom clearing provider and we have been able to diversified and create new revenue stream for the business uh, and we have adopted the three progress strategy in industry diversification over the year we have been able to reduce our reliance on relations on marble granite and ceramic tiles we are focusing on other industries such as tile paper textile glass and other sectors we are 
committed to increase our services of business from the other industry. Under revenue diversifications, we have been extended our services lines and creating more avenues for revenue generations. The multiple services offered under acquisition uh, shipping for clearing and forwarding last mile delivery, warehousing, sale of petroleum and uh, petrol and petroleum products, sale of heavy commercial vehicles and its spare parts. We are confident of increase our revenue with the help of our diversified portfolio. Our third strategy of growth is the focus on increasing our share of business for extending customers and onboarding new customers across service. Let me now speak on the factor driving the segmental performance for the half year ended September 2023. Our first segment of logistics, the current trade scenario has unfortunately eroded our negotiating power with the shipping lines. With last mile's operations further impacted by high operating cost, despite this challenge, we at Accuracy maintain augmentation regarding the success of this segment. Our confidence stems from the wealth of experience and expertise that has allowed us to curve out our equitable brand for accuracy in the industry. The second segment involves the sale of heavy commercial vehicles and their parts, spare parts, this segment continued to exhibit strong performance contributing to an enhanced profitability profile. A key rationale uh, uh, behind this segment was the strategic cost, energy and saving achieved by providing services to our own fleet 373 truck, a strategy that is providing to the highly <coughs> advantages additional the high margins arise from the sale of spare parts further bolsters the segment over and all success. For half quarter one of Y24, the segment uh, contribute nearly 31% to the overall revenue. Our strategic approach to the revenue diversification has proven uh, instrumentals particularly during the challenging times when our pro-business phase pressure. Core business, core business phase pressure. Lastly, our segment involving the sales of petrol and petroleum products through fueling stations operated, operate uh, strategically along two points of the national highway with five refueling points. We ensure swift services and our comprehensive range of lubricant facility effective cost cross selling. These positions allow us to serve our increased number of vehicles and our commitment to provide a complete range of products reinforce our competitions in this segment. Our diversification strategy is beginning to allow positive results as we this is work towards to, uh, towards cost control and overall stability. Initiative to increase wallet sales for from existing customers have been successful, complemented by the establishment of the dedicated cell force. This team is actively engaged in the acquiring new customers within our existing geography while expanding into new territory trade lines and routes, <clears throat> broadening the scope of our services offering, like you know, take you through the financials and operationals highlights for quarters two and half quarters 2024. Our consolidated revenue from operations to at RS 2007 crores as compared to RS 238 crores the revenue was impacted due to weak demand environment across gross profit for quarter two 2024 stood at RS 11 crores as compared to RS 18.1 crores uh, quarter two of 23. 
The gross margin for the quarter stood as 5.3 EBITDA for the quarter end in September 2003 stood at a 2.4 crore as compared to 4.4 crore. Turning our attention to the half yearly performance, the consolidated revenue from operations amounted to RS 3.49 crores, but the decline from B487 crores. This decrease is attributed to the substituted global demand, which significantly impacted our performance in the first half of the financial year. The gross profit for half year 2024 stood at 20 crore as compared to RS 32.8 crore in FY, FY23. The EBITDA of for the half year and September 2023 stood at RS 5.3 crores as compared to RS 14.9 crores. Service-wise revenue of the half year ended September 2023 from clearing and flooring stood 49% and transport last mile stood 15%, sell and NCB stood 31%, sell of petroleum and petroleum products stood at 4% and others stood 1%. On the industry front, Margo and Gernite formed 41% of revenue for half year 2024. As compared to 36% in half year 23, GTL breakup has been given to in our investor debt. This, with this, I would like to open the floor for questions and answers to our friends and our investors and all. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and 1 on the touch tone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and 2. Participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. Participants, you may press star and 1 to ask a question. The first question is from the line of Amacha from A Securities. Please go ahead. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Uh, sir, how many of our customers are taking integrated service of transportation and clearing and forwarding and how many are just using clearing and forwarding services? Uh, sir, 70 to 75 percent our customers taking uh, end to end services from our site. 15 to 20 percent uh, customers only taking clearing and forwarding, clearing and transport, and rest only taking forwarding part. Uh, okay, and, and what will be our revenue contribution from uh, top 10 customers and what has been in the past? Yes. Uh, Sir, more or less, uh, more or less, fifty-five to uh, more or less, sir, five percent of the uh, revenue for top ten customers. Uh, okay, and in the past, in the past, more or less, sir, five to ten percent. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. Next question is from one of Karan Mehra from Mehta Investments. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity, sir. Uh, so a couple of questions from my end. We uh, had recently signed contract with a leading tire manufacturer. So if you can yes. help us, like, how has the ramp up of the account been, and what is the wallet share from that customer? Also, like, are we seeing a significant contribution? Like, how has been the, you know, uh, contribution to our top line from this? Uh, sir, uh, we have signed the tire companies uh, agreement like uh, Polo and C8. And uh, almost uh, uh, that will be help us near about 3 to 5 percent in our total uh, turnover. Okay. And, uh, uh, if you can share your views on the STV dealership business, like what are its margins and ROCs that we are looking at and how do we look 
to uh, like do we look to divest that business or there is still some synergies to be continued in accuracy itself being as a uh, sir, already i have mentioned in my speech i am a clearing forwarding and transporter and also a fueling station field provider company and involved in dev to do logistic business so many of the transporter is our vendor also and company involved in transportation business last 18 years and company to peak career as my career is totally in the industry near about 23 25 years from job to till entrepreneur and till till chairman so i know i got this opportunity from a so clever to sell this uh, vehicle as uh, a dealership in kas district because of this because i know this almost all the market buyers and uh, service for service uh, people so we started this new business as a mncv in accuracy under under accuracy uh, olet and this will be help us with almost 200 crores by end of the year understood and so one last question uh, if we can help you what is the current level, uh, debt level on our books and any plans of repayment uh sir uh the debt level is near about 40 crore and so total debt total total debt is 98 crores including including our vehicle loans and uh, term loans and cc loans and so what what is our plan of repayment uh sir so dekhi uh, by gradually we are paying every month as a installment basis and which will be uh the complete our loan will be complete by 2027 march nearly 80 80 85% loan debt sure thanks uh, i will join back the queue for further questions thank you please sir thank you participants you may press star and one to ask a question Next question is from Lana Rajiv Shah from Bright Securities please go ahead Yeah thank you for the opportunity I just have two questions the first is do we see pressure on the global trade on account of the ongoing war by situation across the globe Yes the uh, of course this is a global uh, we all the logistic companies facing a global pressure first you know this uh, Russia and Ukraine happened and all europe is suffered because of this uh, e- 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 russia and ukraine war now the middle east and gulf in the middle east e- israel and uh, uh, palestine war and because of this all the middle east and uh, uh, upper gulf sector is now panic positions panic uh, positions but as far as concerns you know we are the logistic provider a- and we all know without logistic nothing can be happen in the world so yes little bit the time phase time uh, the pressure but of course logistic will not stop it will be bounce back okay and my next question is sir what would be the overall revenue and margin guidance for fy24 and 35 um uh, top line more or less uh, 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 700 crores more or less 700 crores and EBITDA is more or less 2.5 to 3 percent, more or less. Okay. Uh, I just had one last question. If you could share some light on what differentiates us from other competitors and also do we have any light to light here? If you are always getting very disturbed, you are in, I think, the traffic. Yes, sorry for the disturbance. My question is, uh if you could shed some light on what differentiates us from our competitors and do we have any light to light peers yes yes uh we as a qc shipping limited have all facility like own custom clearance license which is normally known everyone uh, and we have own our paid forwarding license we have our own trucking we have our own paid forwarding uh, warehousing and we have our own bonded warehouse so this all four combo which is called end to end logistics service provider and the same way same time i have 69 countries strategic partnerships and that partnership long lasting partnerships more than 10 to 12 years with many of the country so
so they are also my study partner also uh, like us they are very strong in particular country now the pair to pair in india as far as concerns under one roof one combo i don't think no, anybody have this kind of uh, facility or uh, skill to provide end to end logistic services people are writing end to end door to door but someone have only license ec license then recording license don't have trucking don't have bonded warehouse don't have uh, warehousing facility but some someone have trucking only ec but the as far as concerns door to door if you want any kind of commodity i can pick up i can store then again i can load on the containers load on the ships and the same way same uh, product uh, same containers i can deliver at usa at particular position particular warehouse particular house particular showrooms like that way. so this kind of facility very uh, in india i don't think anyone anyone have okay that was helpful thank you welcome thank you participants you may press star and one to ask a question next question is from the line of jigar shah from ak securities please go ahead hello thank you for giving me the opportunity sir i have a couple hello. of questions uh, as we can see that there has been a volume growth in terms of containers handled but uh, there has been a sharp decrease in the realization so does this impact our profitability in a in a big way or majority of the costs are passed through and we can maintain similar margins no no sir uh, it is correct sir, because of the freight reduce because i have a freight forwarder my main product is freight booking with the shipping lines i am because i am handling the bulk container so i am booking the almost vessel to vessel very heavy container and the freight is reduced by like anything i will give you example for to understand betterly our industry from india to us freight one year back and before covid before covid was average freight from india to us almost 5000 6000 dollar average and today average freight 1800 to 2500 or 3000 sometime some vessel from india to gulf like jewelry from navasiva from mundra from chennai average freight in covid near about 1200 20 foot and 40 foot 17 to 1900 dollars and before covid uh, it was 500 to 620 or 800 dollar 40 and today it is minus 40 dollars minus 50 dollars gulf country gulf means jewelry uh, especially in yeah. case of example because of that our of course booking margin but if i don't if i have a, a cushion 7000 dollar freight i have a i have a power to negotiate with the shipping line and get the profit because i have cargo i have shipper supplier i have buyer but now the shipping line freight decreased uh, on uh, number of thousands of person down and that the reason it is impacting our margin but it is yes it is a time being because of the globally uh, economic intention but once it will be a little bit slow and down and uh, settled it will be again boom up and will grow up at the same way got it sir that does help yes yeah. sir secondly what can we expect our steady state margins for our c and f business uh, can you repeat question please what can we expect steady state margins for our c and f business uh one minute yes uh, csa do uh, custom clearance and uh, and the uh, forwarding near about 5 to 7% percent. 5 to 7% percent. okay not at yes and yes. lastly what is the outlook on freight rates and how has this trend been prevailing in the last few months uh sir dikhi i have a cargo i have cargo i have uh, totally based complete my company have a strong position with the customer base volume base once the freight bounce back right freight bounce back our top line and uh, bottom line everything will be improved you see in the custom clearance there is no decrease in the margin in trucking even stable even stable but the freight decreased by 1000% and the freight is our main component in our industry where we are 
uh, not playing we can say, but we are earning a good margin because if the trade is thirty two thousand dollar, I can push the shipping lines. I have five hundred containers, five thousand containers need this trade. Now I have a container, but shipping line don't have freight to negotiate five hundred dollar, two thousand, one hundred dollar, or seven hundred dollar. So this is a region it is impacting now. But we as an activity, I because I have seen the industry last twenty three years before Corona, before Corona to before Corona in two thousand six seven uh, 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 drastically uh, you can say Monday recession uh, recession. And uh, 17, 18 recession also I have seen before Corona, before COVID. So uh, we are waiting. The industry, uh, the shipping industry, five years going very, very fastly on top, and after five years uh, it will go down. Then it will be uh, reflect on medium level, and then again it will take pick up. So I am hoping that till March, if this uh, Middle East, uh, Israel and Palestine war will be settled or something will. Not happen bigger now than than this. Then trade will be revived here because Asia Ukraine war almost now cold mode. So people are now uh, take it as a uh, liberal or normal way. It will be continue like uh, we are facing a problem with India Pakistan. The same way in the uh, Russia and Ukraine now people will take it the lightly. So all the economy started. People are start buying, selling, doing the normal business. So I hope till March the situation will be little bit change. If this uh, Israel and Palestine war is more dangerous than the Russia and Ukraine war, and it will be uh, it will be cool and calm, not happen more than this, then the situation will be something better than this now. Got it. Got it. This was a very detailed answer. Thank you for this. Thank you. Yes. Sir. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Participants, you may press star and one to ask a question. Next question is from Lana Vikram Suryavanshi from Philip Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, good evening, sir, and uh, belated happy Diwali. <laughs> Same to you, sir. Same to you. How are you? Sir, yeah, I'm good. Uh, sir, I joined the call a bit late. So, how is the uh, import and export mix for us, and uh, particularly from export side, are we seeing any opportunities? Uh, yes. Uh, sir, of course. Uh, as far as concerns, India export is a uh, little uh, growing by seven to nine percent uh, every month. Uh, and uh, as far as concerns, you are the very best known person and known known person in the industry of our logistic industry because you have almost all data of the export export minus plus growth ratio. I think the last uh, to last month you have sent the report which I was. Uh, going through and it was really fantastic report for Navasiva uh, up and down decrease data on that will that was help me to make the same way data for Mundra and Chennai also so I seen Mundra and uh, India uh, almost growing six to seven to nine percent the export growth. And uh, do we see that uh, Hajira port is also a positive for us or we will more uh, stick to Mundra port? Yes, Hadira is growing. Sir. Hadira is growing by three to three to four percent. Okay, and yeah. uh, in in case of textile kind of or uh, basically uh, non marble or tiles uh, segment, particularly textile or any other goods, are we seeing any some kind of recovery or it's still? Uh, uh, in, how is your as far as concerns, as far as concerns, uh, if you see the uh, pharmaceutical industry, tire industry. Even paint industry, if you see the paint industry is uh, growing very, uh, very good way. As of particularly in this scenario also. So as far as concerns in India, none of the some of the industry. I don't know any industry which industry I am belonging uh, or I am doing the business particularly, and they are the really in the good state. Tires, uh, paint industry, uh, this one. Uh, Uh, these all the three core new industries, yarn, fabric, they all the growing sir. Got it. Yeah, I think uh, yeah, uh, the rest of the things are quite good. Only I think uh, freight rate is a bigger concern for us uh, yes. in country. Yes, okay. yes. Being as a freight forwarder, being as a freight forwarder, globally global freight forwarder, uh, it is a really very bad things for us because we are hoping and we are 
saying to the God, the prayer should be improved and increased. In, in this case, there is no punishment, but in this case, our margin got reduced. Because if the market is improved or trade will increase, then our negotiation power will be strong and buying and selling will be strong. Because we are very, uh, very, uh, very, we have very good relation with the must line, MSC, CMA, HAPOG, or all the almost all in OCC carriers. Because of the volumes controlled since many years. So we have a very good agreement with them. But the, the problem is that the price level decreased by anything. What we negotiate with them, sometimes we also feel uh, pain for them. Uh, I can give you one example. Uh, I have never seen in last 23 years as an entrepreneur. Uh, from Venice to Mundra, Venice in Italy port, Venice to Mundra never ever decreased uh, from 700 freight to any, do any single dollar. And today's freight is $150. Yeah. Uh, in the COVID, it was $7,000, $9,000. And before COVID, $700, $700, $800, almost $708 every, every month. And the last uh, 10 to 12 months, the freight is $150. Sometimes $120 even. Reach $120, must reach $120. In $120, what we will negotiate with them? Suppose in $700, I am negotiating $550, $600, $620, and selling $680, $690, or something like that. $10, $15 to $20% or $30% margin. But in $120, what do we keep in the margin? So our margin is, because of this, our margin is, uh, uh, got reduced, reduced. But I'm hoping till March it will remain uh, bounced back because I have seen this uh, resistance in 2005 and 4 and 6 also. So it will be the best, best time to industries uh, uh, get uh, uh, settled. Got it. And as an industry, sir, uh, if you look at our bulk cargo rates, uh, we are into container only, but uh, just as a uh, industry phenomena, when container rates are so low and uh, bulk rates are quite relatively high, so is there any some type of cargo which can move to container uh, because of a rate, or yes. is that helping us uh, possibility? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Your questions and your your uh, question is fantastic question. This is the reason nowadays container cargo is increased because freight rate is decreased by uh, by anything. And the still brick bulk cost is high compared to the containers. So the people are now, uh, the brick bulk exporters are now sem uh, shipping the sample by containers. Because in the container they can load 500 tons one way, 2000 tons one way. In the brick bulk they can, even the threat is high. And then also they have to wait for the full vessel lot. In, in the container, you know what? No need to wait. 500 tons you can load. 1000 tons you can load like that day. So, uh, this is the the uh, container business is booming a lot. Got it, yeah. Please. Yeah, thank you very much, sir, and wish you all the thank success. You, thank you, thank you, Sujan Sujan. Thank you. Parasimans, you may press star and one to ask the question. Next question is from Ranav Yug Mehta from AP Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. So, uh, do we see increased volumes across industries, and which are the industries which are seeing higher traction in from India? Yes. Uh, so basically, uh, as far as instance, uh, nowadays pharmaceutical is a very good uh, volume for Africa, Middle East, of course, Europe also. And now, uh, second, uh, tire industry is booming a lot. If you uh, see the MRF tire result. C8, very good. Cement industry, cement is going export a lot to Colombo, uh, Madagascar, Africa. So these all the industries booming a lot. Yes, uh, okay. So can you also provide the margin split between our three main business verticals, that is clearing, uh, clearing and forwarding, need of HCV and, and petroleum? Okay, two minutes. I will, uh, I will give you the figures. Is that clearing and forwarding, transportations, warehousing, and other per, other things, 1.78 percent. 
iron fuel 0.70 percent asl motors 1.30 percent on ev level Uh, sir, lastly, can you provide margin speed in clearing and forwarding, and within that in transport? Yeah, you mean you mean you need sell figure, right? One minute, ah, please. One minute, let me see. Yes. Thank you. Ah, uh, sir, actually, yeah, we are providing the bundle services, door to door, maximum seventy seventy five percent. So we generally give a combo code to not. Understand the our competitor or anyone. I don't want to uh, disclose the market how I am running the uh, door to door as a number one position. So most probably I am giving a bundle services. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. That's all for me, please. Thank you. Thank you. Next question is from the line of Ravish huh? from Opal Securities. Please go ahead. Yeah. Hi. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so basically, I had uh, a question. I was going to a presentation. Uh, in that, it shows that we have roughly 370 trucks, uh, and our players are all now moving. Yeah, our players are all moving to an asset-like model. So what I'm trying to gain, I want to understand is, uh, what are we doing? So are we going to go there? Or are we still going to stay on the same model? What's our strategy here? No. Are uh, these 370 trucks? Uh, it is our own company truck to provide the customer better service. I know. Now there is a light mode of asset uh, uh, company. Many people are doing like that way. But being as a logistic company, door to door service provider, it is not possible to take 100% trucks from outside to serve our client on their own satisfaction level. If I will not give a service because my main product, my business, uh, my business main product is service provider. If my truck will not reach on the morning 10 o'clock, 10:30. Then the customer will be not re, uh, retain or remain with us. Yes, every day I am taking all over India with it 50 to 100 trucks from outside. But in that, my contributions only 30 percent, 30 to 50 percent, and 50 percent per I am taking from outside only. So this this much uh, the vehicle I am keeping as a safer side to make our service level intact for my client. Uh, understood, sir. Thank you. And one more question would be like a broader understanding on the overall industry, like where are we headed now? Even our company, where are we headed? Like keeping in uh, keeping in mind the declining freight rates, etc. So how are we planning things out? Just like an understanding on that. Yes, my CEO will answer your question, sir. Uh, hi, Ravi. Good evening. Uh, so declining of freight rates is a temporary, uh, in temporary problem, and uh, it will be resolved by the year or two. So we are constantly sticking towards the our uh, shipping division only, and not uh, looking towards as a diversified industry or uh, anything like that. Understood, sir. And any particular sector we are looking at catering to more? I mean, for efficiency purposes. Uh, for efficiency, we are uh, continuously trying to diversify our industry. As of now, you can see that we have moved towards the tires uh, and uh, yarn, textile, towards the pharma also a little bit. But uh, we are trying to diversify as more and as well as possible. We are also looking towards the agri. We are exporting uh, agri uh, wheat and uh, this wheat powder and rice. So we are trying to diversify as much as possible. Understood, sir. Thank you and all the best and happy festive season, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Same to you, sir. Thank you very much. As there are no further questions, I will now hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Uh, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, giving a time for our uh, earning call and uh, keep support. And soon we will come back with the, for new earning calls. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. On behalf of Accuracy Shipping Limited, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us. You may now disconnect your lines. Thank you.